What up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Madden 15 gameplay. Today we have a wager match going for 99 movers Maxwell. Now, this game was played the day Maxwell came out, and he was going for about 350k at the time. And uh as you guys know, I don't usually do high wagers. I like to keep them low. There's even a joke going around in the Twitch world that, uh, you know, a low wager is called the GS wager. Because <laughs> I'll do like an elite badge and like a 96 Shane Vereen or something like that. Uh, as I always say, I don't like high wagers. I don't like putting pressure like that on myself. Um, even though I win small, when I wager, if I were to win, if I were to lose, I lose small. That's why I like to keep them a little light. But... Uh, right here, you know, I'm playing against uh, Marcelo and Madden 13, uh, Madden 25, excuse me. We played in uh, about a few times. He dominated me every time we played in Madden 25. Dominated me like three or four times. Uh, I believe we played once in Madden 15, and we end up winning pretty convincingly. So, uh, and but this was a, a while ago. So he literally, shpoinkin! He literally just uh, pulled that uh, Maxwell about 20 seconds before the game played. I randomly hop up on Skype, and he says, uh, hey, do you want to play a wager? And he sent me that message the day before. I look, and yesterday it said, he said, do you want to play a Fourth and 20, I'm like, YOLO, I'm going for it. Oh, we got Thomas over the top, but he got some Ronald McDonald feet, and he could not keep both feet in bounds. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I know you guys are like, yo, just take your points, man. What is wrong with you? But, like, I'm not trying to win the game. I'm trying to dominate. I'm trying to own the game. I'm trying to get the momentum on my side. And I felt like a first possession field goal just wasn't going to do that for me. And, unfortunately, it just didn't work out. But right there, big old stink, Jack Lambert is coming through with a pick. And uh, that right there was definitely a huge, huge, huge interception uh, to go our way. So right here, we run back with Barry Sanders. Now it's like, okay, we have another opportunity. He gets the ball at halftime, so nothing, you know, is uh, too crazy yet. But we end up scoring a touchdown with a quick uh, smoke screen over there towards the left side. We end up scoring, going up 7-0. to zero. Uh, And he does, like I say, he does get ball at halftime. So he's still in good position. He can score here, get ball back, score here. Y'all know the drill. Right there, he just tosses it up for a lob streak. And thankfully, we knocked it down. You guys know how effective lob streaks are this year. Right here, he runs towards the right side, gets a huge huge run right there over there towards the right side and that right there was a, a a very big run right there just nice pass i try to send the blitz uh with zero coverage and peterson just gets torched on the inside he ends up tying the game so now since he gets the ball back at halftime i'm thinking to myself okay we have to make this right here last possession the last thing i want is for him to score get ball back score again hit me with that double dip so i gotta try my best to make this right here last possession I'd much rather kick a field goal going to have time up 10-7 than me score and give him way too much time for him to score back and tie the game or take the lead. And you know what I mean? We don't want that. So last possession right here. Got to make this last possession right here. Quick little uh, comeback right there. Pick up the first down. First and 10. We go deep again right there. And we end up coming through with a Thomas. And we end up scoring a touchdown. And we end up taking the lead. So 30 seconds left. All three timeouts. Again, he gives the ball at halftime. So even if he doesn't score here, not that big of a deal because he does receive ball at half so uh, but this right here would be an important stop that we can stop him right here and, oh we drop an interception which would have given us at least an opportunity for a field goal right there um he's about midfield right here but he doesn't call a timeout kind of surprising to me i'm thinking he had about seven seconds left all he needed was one quick pass to get in field goal range doesn't do it and i thought that right there was a mental mistake on suing possession he ends up throwing an interception, Golden Ticket Barry, who was on the yellow route, which is crazy because I didn't shade underneath, but he was just on the yellow route, uh, a hook zone, and he played that so well. Uh, not too many players in the game would play something like that. That was unbelievable for him to be on a short hook zone, but crash down that sharply and come away with that, uh, that pick. So on fourth and five, he decides to punt the ball and uh, something I wouldn't have done. You know, uh, in such a big wager, you got to put points on the board. You know, if you're confident enough to put up something big like that, uh, then you should know that both players are comfortable uh, with themselves with being able to score. And uh, I struggle on defense. You know what I mean? Um, by no means am I an excellent offensive player. But, you know, my ability to 
uh, play good at this game. He's always been on the offensive side of the ball. So him put right here, Steve Young, ball shook, boast with the read option, and we end up taking it all the way for a touchdown. You know, uh, I went for it on fourth and twenty in the very first possession because it's like you know I got you got to score points. I got to score points. I, I just don't think three points was gonna cut it. You know, it's like I need I need touchdown. You know, uh, my defense isn't the best. You know, I know I can give up points in bunches. <laughs> I've shown I can give up a lot of points in Madden. Ever since I picked up this game, uh, since I was a kid, I've always just been able to give up points on defense side of the ball. And maybe that's why I'm so messed up mentally on defense because uh, I've just always been able to give up points. So, um, fourth and five, I, I feel like he, he should have went for it, um, especially since I, I pretty much was able to move the ball against them throughout the duration of the game. Uh, but nonetheless, man, we end up going up 35 to 7. And uh, at this point, uh, usually, uh, well, I rarely uh, play the, the skunk rule. If you guys don't know, that's just 21 plus ball. Most people uh, have that rule where if you play a, uh, a wager or a money game, if you are up more than 21 points and you have ball, game is right there. It's a beautiful snag right there. Uh, game is over. Uh, I do have that as one of my rules, but I rarely, really, really enforce it. I just keep the game going if I happen to get that type of margin. Uh, right here, we roll out. We got Steve Young. We can look at. We got X in the back of the end zone, and we throw a dot. And uh, I'm definitely enjoying this Steve Young a lot. I do have uh, season games already. Um, I have the first two games. I'm going to post tomorrow so look out for that tomorrow uh week one and week two i'm gonna show the lineup i'm gonna show the new squadron um so look out for that tomorrow still a few players i want to try and get uh i would like to get boss deacon i haven't played with him yet uh but i, I just can't find him anywhere he's never in the uh auction uh, but uh, i'm definitely looking to see if i can try and get him on the team on the 45 yard line we kick a field goal and it is no good barely barely just missed the wind was against us six miles an hour oh man but um as you can see it's it's you know score got out of hand it, it, it got ugly um he he runs the ball a lot you know that was his main uh because uh vmg the guy i have the oh beautiful snag right there vmg the guy i played the full game against about a week and a half ago uh you know, we were uh, live streaming. I was like, wow, you know, Seller wants to play for the Maxwell. He just pulled right here. Devin Hester just doing what Devin Hester does. Eventually, he's going to take one back. I'm the best kick returner in the game. Only a matter of time before that man gets loose. Um, and I'm like, yo, he wants to play for Maxwell. Yo, I'm about to get blown out, man. He, BMG's like, no, nah, I'll beat him, man. Yeah, you're good. I'm like, yo, he's going to, I don't know. Like, if you're confident enough to put that card up, like, I'm already nervous. And he's like, uh, if you can control the run, you can be good. And that's that's how you can beat me. <laughs> if you can stop me from running, I'm in trouble. You know, uh, most of the time I lose uh, a game, it's just because I just had trouble running the ball. If I can't run on you, it's just going to be a long game. Because my passing game isn't effective like that, you know. All I do is really dink and dunk, you know, uh, play short underneath passes. I only have about four or five passing plays anyways. Um, so if you can stop me from running the ball against you, I'm, it's just going to be a long game for me. I'm just going to be in trouble. Um, but thankfully, you know, we were able to run the ball effectively, uh, make some, you know, stops on defense, and uh, we end up just pretty much controlling the tempo of, the, of uh, throughout the entire game. So we end up winning Maxwell the day he came out, 99 uh, movers Maxwell. Um, we end up putting him on the auction block, and we end up selling him. I did have him in one, because I played week one already uh, before this game. And then uh, I played week two. So he did uh, play one play. Everybody wanted to see what Maxwell's stats were. So I showed him. I compared him to everybody. I put him number one on my depth chart just so I could scroll down and show him when I compare him to everybody. And then uh, I forgot that I had did that. So um, I started week two. And uh, he was there for the first defensive drive. And he drops a wide open pick. After that, I was like, oh, that's ugly. We got to get rid of him. Uh, so we end up uh, making a change. And we end up selling him. But nonetheless, man. Good game to Marcelo. We end up winning, and we end up winning a uh, 99 Maxwell. We come away with the victory, and definitely, I think uh, my biggest wager of the year. I think this is only like the third wager I've played that was over, um, like over, I don't know, 100k. 
I want to say this is like the third one. Not too many big wagers. But that's the end of the game, fellas. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Right here, you see us uh, receiving Maxwell. Uh, he paid up after the game. We didn't make a pay up front. He's a subscriber on Twitch, so we trusted him to pay after the game, which he did. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, man. It's your boy, Jess. The regular season, the new season, will be posted tomorrow. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, man. It's your boy, Jess. Peace.